Well, hello and welcome to the MCAT Club. This is our weekly call for Monday, April 7th, 2014. My name is Don Osborne and I am the host of the MCAT Club. And in case you haven't heard before, the MCAT Club is the place to go for up-to-date information about studying for the MCAT, MCAT prep, and I even answer your MCAT-related calls questions live here on the call. You can find the MCAT Club at my website, inquarta.com, as well as on Facebook and YouTube. I am also on Twitter occasionally, Google+, and who knows, you may even see me in Reddit and studentdoctor.net. As a medical school admissions expert, consultant, coach, I work with amazing students like you who really want to get into medical school, but you might be stuck or feel uncertain about parts of your application, parts of your application process, parts of the application itself, maybe your GPA, your MCAT score, or really you're just worried about how is the best way for you to go about packaging yourself for medical school applications. I promise I'm the most uplifting and encouraging advisor you'll ever meet because it's my job to work with you with what you bring me, turn that uh, into as strong as possible application in order to make you a stronger and more competitive applicant. Today, our topic for today, you know, it's uh, early April and so a lot of you guys are starting to take the MCAT. So I thought there'd be nothing better that I could say, uh, talk about today than about confidence on the MCAT. And so that's what I want to talk about. Now this started with a phone call. Last Friday, I got a phone call, panicky phone call, from an MCAT club member named Aaron. And Aaron was really worried about his MCAT score. And he, was, he knew he was taking the test uh, in 24 hours, so he called me Friday, uh, he's taking the test Saturday. And he was very worried about what he could do, any last minute things he could do to improve his chances about getting a good score on the MCAT. And I want to talk about Aaron, and I want to talk about confidence. And then later on, I want to talk about uh, Krista. And I want to talk about uh, panic, MCAT panic. And uh, what Krista and I talked about. Okay, so. <clears throat> Aaron felt like he had stalled out on his MCAT score. He's been getting consistent low 30 scores, 10s and 11s on the different sections. He was really trying to shoot for a 35, and uh, you know he knew it was an aggressive score. He knew that uh, you know that that's pretty high uh, to get, and it doesn't take that many right or wrong answers in order to to go from say a 31 or a 32 to a 35. So he was close, right? And uh, he called me up because he was really stuck on uh, whether he should take the test, um, how to go about that those last minute things that he could do. Uh, remember, he only had about uh, 20 hours before he was actually taking the MCAT. So this is what I told him. <clears throat> I said, truly, the difference between a 30 or 31 on the MCAT and a 35 on the MCAT, truly, the difference is confidence. And uh, I can describe that confidence in a lot of different ways. Um, from a practical perspective, it is a subtle difference in willingness and ability to uh, eliminate answer choices, pick an answer choice, uh, click the mouse and move on with no regrets, no doubt, no looking back, no second guessing, no reworking the passage or the problem. Um, so that's really the, the, the most basic tactical level of this. However, to get yourself to make those kinds of choices, to be that committed um, requires more than just you know, turning yourself into a computer, you know, MCAT computer robot and like chunking out uh, test questions and answer choices. <clears throat> because we're not computers, right? So we're thinking beings, we are emotional beings, we're psychological beings. So all those things come into play and it's very difficult without training, without practice to discipline your mind and become so committed and so convicted that you just say, you know what, I know I'm right and that's perfectly fine. I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to worry about it. That requires a little bit of uh, change of attitude, change in approach. So what I told Aaron was this. I said, look, you have to have such a high conviction that you are absolutely correct and that the MCAT is vulnerable um, you have to have so much commitment to that that you can uh, like incredibly confidently go into the test 
uh, recognizing either test questions that you understand and that you're able to analyze and eliminate answer choices and bubble and move on, or test questions that you absolutely know without any equivocation in your mind. Okay, this problem, whether it's a test question or an answer choice, is obviously set up to trap me, and it's not going to work. I'm not going to get trapped. But I'm also not going to uh, waste time, because uh, I know that those kinds of questions are time sinks. So I'm not going to waste time on this. I'm just going to go ahead very aggressively, uh, you know, analyze the question to the best of my ability, eliminate answer choices, pick one. doesn't really matter what I think about it, because that's not going to help me. Bub bubble it, click the mouse, and move on. Period. Oh.